Science learns a lot, not just from the laboratory, but from experiments of nature. You know, nature performs experiments for us by changing the DNA in this or that animal and then showing us what the effects of that change would be. One interesting experiment of nature are the Mexican salamanders. These animals have a profound ability to regrow things after injury. Like you can cut their leg off at the wrist and the leg grows back from the wrist. You can cut it off at the elbow and it grows back from the elbow. A remarkable regenerative potential, not just in their legs, but in their heart and in their brain. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could learn how that works and apply it to human medicine? As it turns out, we have an important clue of how to unlock that biology and apply it in medical practice for you and me. The insight comes from our understanding that humans actually have a similar regenerative potential but we only have it when the human body is first forming. So in the first eight weeks of development, when the body is first being put together, if the body is injured, let's say you cut the skin, it will heal within 72 hours scarlessly, perfectly. After eight weeks, when we're still forming in our mother's womb, if you cut the skin, it can no longer perfectly regenerate. And as we get older, that ability to regenerate becomes worse and worse. And so we get, you know, you cut the skin and an adult like you and me, we get a nasty scar on the skin. But wouldn't it be wonderful if we could learn how these clockwork mechanisms and cells work and to allow humans to regenerate so beautifully as we once did in our development and as the Mexican salamander can do quite well all throughout its lifespan. This is an emerging field of science called regenerative medicine and is a major focus of some researchers, such as my own work and the work of my company, in applying this to the biology of aging to allow, well, say, the heart to regrow scarlessly after a heart attack, the leading cause of death in an aging population.